In this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to mix with Waves plugins. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So for some time now, you guys have been requesting for this video on how to mix with Waves plugins. Before we get started, I want us to understand exactly what mixing is. In simple terms, mixing can be defined as the process of blending your vocals and your beat together to get them to a point where everything is audible enough for playback. The process of mixing involves a number of processes in itself, which include cleaning up your vocals to get rid of some background noises that you may not need. It also involves balancing your vocals on a beat and opening up your vocals to cut through the mix. So in this video series, I'm going to take you through step by step from the beginning to the end. In this video alone, we're going to look at the cleanup process, which includes denoising, which is just the removal of background noises and normalizing, which is basically just the process of getting our vocals to a more consistent point in terms of levels. And the last part in the cleanup process will be cleaning up itself, which is getting rid of some breaths, also some parts in the recording that we may not need. And then in the next part of the video, which will be part two, we're going to look at leveling which is gain staging balancing vocals on a beat balancing backup vocals and ad libs from that we look at vocal clarity with waves plugins which is pitch correction eqing compression and so on but for now let us focus on the first part of the mix which is the cleanup process so let's make sure we get this video to 50 likes for a part two so before we get into the video let me play what we have so that you have an idea of what we're dealing with Listen to the verse, reverse the words of yeah. since birth on this earth and this gift, the lyrical curse, all I hear is stirs and Alright, so this is the song that we're dealing with. The first thing that we're going to be doing is denoising, getting rid of some background noises that we may not need in the recording. Let me put the beat on mute and then I'll focus on this vocal right here. Let us listen to some of the background noise. Look for a clear space with only microphone recording and target that space. I'm going to cut a part of this and simply just select it and press P on my keyboard so that when I play everything will be looping right here. So this is just the noise profile that we want to get and then we can be able to extract it throughout the recording so that we just leave the vocal without the noise. And to do this we're going to use a plugin called Znoise. But before we do this let us go to file then click on key commands because we want to set some key commands so that we can simply call these plugins whenever we need them. So we're going to go to process plugin right here. Then let's look for Aravox because we're going to use Aravox to normalize our vocal. So let's go to down here. So I'm dealing with mono vocals. Therefore, I'll click Aravox mono. Then let's set the key command right here. So if you can see this, I've already set my key command to shift V. So what you do to set your key command for a plugin is simply click on the plugin right here. Then come here on type key. Just click on that and then just type your key. So in my case, it's shift V. That's the key that I want to give Aravox and then simply click assign. So there is a situation where the key may already be assigned to some other plugin you'll be able to see here like it tells me this is assigned to aravox mono because i had set this already so when you press a key combination that is not assigned to any other plugin there will be nothing here so you can just assign like that so once we've assigned for aravox i'll simply go to z noise because we're going to use z noise for the noise profile i'll click on z noise mono and assign a value so in my case i've already assigned shift z 
use the same process simply click here press your key combination on the keyboard and simply press assign just click ok so whenever we need these plugins we can be able to call the plugins using a shortcut on the keyboard so let's say for example i press shift v so aravox simply comes here now that this is set let us come here and get rid of the noise let me just put everything else on mute so if i play this there's some kind of background noise right here i'm simply going to come here and put z noise so z noise is found under restoration so z noise mono what i'll do is click on learn then play this and then go on and click on extract to extract the noise profile and then just release it so once this is done you'll see that the noise profile is right here and it has been extracted from here so what i'll do is play this and then just push the reduction until i hear that this noise has started disappearing and then i can also play around with the threshold until i get a more consistent reduction So from here I can tell that I've reduced the noise but now I need to play my vocal so that I'm sure that by reducing this noise I haven't cut out part of my vocal and it still plays okay. So I will play my vocal and still adjust these levels so that my vocal still sounds natural and at the same time the noise is gone. They want to see me fail, they don't want to see me win. Said I shouldn't rap cause the colour on my skin Fought to survive on this planet of sin So hate me if you like, I just stand there and grin I'm living my life and I'm planning to win It's just me and the mic, what's the damage I bring? Yeah I'm ready to fight if you want me to swing Won't distinguish my light until you crown me the king So this is a nice level of reduction So once this is done I can simply go to save because i want to save this preset and i'll let you know why i'm doing this so i'll simply go to put into preset menu as so i'm going to set this as king which is the name of the song king noise profile and just click ok so i've saved this into that and what i'll do is simply just now remove this from the channel and come here select the entire audio clip and press the key command to call z noise and then we can extract everything from the entire audio clip and the rest of the audio clips so i'll simply say shift z which is for this and i'm going to load then go to king noise profile and simply select both so my noise profile is right here and from here I can go straight to process and then just go to new version so that you can keep the old version of the vocal in case of anything so the old version of the vocal is still in your folder of audio files so once this is done you'll see that without z noise right here when i play this the noise is still gone because i've processed this they want to see me fail they don't want to see me win okay so i can simply remove this i can now just highlight any audio clip and press the shortcut shift z and just go to process so the noise is gone i'll click on uh, the other audio clip and do the same process the noise is gone so i'm going to do this for all these vocals right here because the microphone that was used is the same and uh, the recording environment was the same therefore the noise profile is consistent in this entire recording so let me quickly just do that Alright, so I'm done with the noise reduction in my entire mix. So what I'm going to do is now 
move on to the next process which is normalizing it's the process where i take the gain levels to a consistent level where they they are leveled a little bit in terms of playback so i'm going to use the plugin called aravox which is just a compressor select just a part of this audio clip right here and add aravox here so i'm adding aravox mono because i'm dealing with mono plugins if you want to understand when to use mono or stereo waves plugin i'll leave a link to a video that i did in the description you can check it out and see when you're supposed to use stereo or mono so i'll set the gain to 6 db then i'll simply play around with the compression and the get so i'll be playing around with the compression go to a point where i feel like there's some kind of consistency in the vocal when it comes to playback they want to see me fail they don't want to see me win said i shouldn't rap because the color on my skin fool to survive on this planet is sin so hate me if you like i just stand there and grin i'm living my life and i'm planning to win it's just me in the mic what's the damage i bring yeah i'm ready to fight if you want me to swing won't distinguish my light until you crown me the king Listen to the verse, reverse the words ever since birth on this earth at this gift or lyrical curse, all I hear is slurs and Alright, so at this point I feel like playback on the vocal is a little bit consistent and if you look at this I've done some kind of excess compression which is a little bit too much but this is because of the dynamic range in this audio clip. The the difference between the lower parts and the uh, the higher points is a little bit too high so you can simply just see where the consistency is push a little bit of the get for the noise they want to see me fail they don't want to see me win said i shouldn't rap because the color on my skin fool to survive on this planet is sin so hate me if you like i just stand there and grin i'm living my life and i'm planning to win once this is done what i'm going to do is save this just like we did with the previous plugin so i'm going to go to save then put into preset menu as so i'm going to save this as king aravox just click ok and remove this from here so i'm going to select my entire audio clip and then just press the key command for aravox which is shift v then I'm going to go to load and just go to King Aravox and here we are. These are the settings. Go to process. So if you look at our audio clip now, you see that there's a little bit of consistency in terms of the level here. And we're going to apply this throughout the mix. So I'm going to select my other audio clip and then using the command shift V for Aravox, then process. Then I'll do the same for the rest of this in the mix. So let me just quickly do that. Alright guys, so this is done. We've done the normalizing of our vocals. So I've done this for all the vocals in here, including the ad-libs and the backups and the next stage we're going to look at is now clean up where we're going to get rid of things like some of the breaths that we may not need and some sounds that were maybe accidentally made during recording so i'll simply zoom in and just play so you're supposed to go audio clip by audio clip so i'm simply going to go through this they want to see me fail so i know that this breath right here i need to get rid of it And just apply a fade for a smooth joining of the vocal then move on to the next part and do the same there i'm going to do the same throughout They want to see me fail, they don't want to see me win. Said I shouldn't rap because the color on my skin.
Alright guys, so let me continue with this process throughout the audio clips and I'll catch you on the other side in the second video which will be balancing these vocals and the ad-libs on the beat. So make sure you take this video to 50 likes for the part 2. Once this video hits 50 likes, I'm dropping the part 2 where we balance the lead vocals and the ad-libs on the beat. So thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, subscribe, click that post notification bell so that you don't miss when I drop another video. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram at jthemg and Facebook jthemg. Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.